Okay, Great Western 90 is arriving. You can see that lamp. It's the last train of the day. She is arriving at East Strasburg Station. Right over there. Yeah. Yeah, you could hear her mighty whistle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My favorite steam engine ever. She's coming. So today I was on Canadian National 89. And those were the coaches she pulled. Right over there. Oh, right there. And she was put away like 45 minutes ago. Alright, she's coming. Oh my god. That mighty bell. The puffing. This was the last train of the day. Oh man. And guess who's back? Guess who's back? Back again. 90's back. Oh man. That loud bell. She pulled, I think, nine coaches today. I heard one of the staff talking about that. Let me count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine. Strasbourg's strongest engine returns. And I'm going to film this video all the way until she is put back in the shed to rest for tomorrow. I won't be here tomorrow. I won't be here tomorrow to like um, see all the engines, but uh, today was a really good day. We're able to see so many things here. SRC. I bet those people had a blast. I had a blast in Canadian National 89. All right, it's stopped. It's going to come to a stop. Yeah, I will actually stand at this angle. I could get like a good shot of her being put in the shed. And there's the water tower. The J tower. All the way over there. Like that tower right there. And Virtual Rail Fan is actually live streaming from there. So after I record this video, I'm going to say hello to myself on the live stream. Man.
Today was the first time I've been to Strasbourg and they were doing like a joint service as I like to call it where like two engines are operating. I did not see 475 but I did see 611s uh water tender water tender and I don't know if she's still here. If you guys know, tell me in the comments. Great Western 90. He's the GOAT of the fleet. Alright, she's coming back, I think. No. I don't know, is she? I'm, I'm gonna check. Derail. Yeah, she's coming back. I like, at this angle, the train doesn't even look that long. Like, it's long. Well, here she comes. The people are getting off. And guess who's going to rest? She's going to be taking a nine hour sleep. Nine hours of sleep. Look at those side rods. And now we wait. Fun fact about this engine is that it was, um, so apparently there's a source that says it was involved in multiple incidents. Wikipedia and the engine wiki says it um, crashed into a truck and was toppled in 1944 and it killed the truck driver and the fireman but what many people don't know is is that Great Western 90 she was also um she was also uh used as an she was also used uh to help engines like uh, from an engine fire uh in Colorado so at some point
I gotta step out of the way. He says bye bye. Oh, I didn't see that hole over there. There's like a hole, like a siding. Alright, I'm gonna cut the video uh, for one second, and then like I'll continue uh, when she's actually moving to be put away in the shed. i see you guys soon. There she goes. Excuse me for my shaky hands. And now she just stopped. There is some smoke, some steam from Canadian National 89 coming from the shed. Alright, she's moving again. Definitely going to be put in the shed this time. They were switching some points. Let me get... This is like actually the best angle I could give you guys. It's like, you can't like go over there. Authorized personnel only. But, I think this is a good angle. I hope it's a good angle. That's over there is where the engines um, refill on coal, like a uh, tractor refills them I haven't seen that in a while anyways she's going again she'll be put away I don't know which berth they will put her in I think most likely the right one yeah the right one yeah uh, I don't know if you guys will be able to see see yeah you will so like over there um Canadian National 89 is already there I, don't, I wonder what happened to 475 though. Because like apparently according to my sister. She, she saw Thomas. In there. So Canadian National 89 is there. Um, yeah, the Diesel. Who they like dress up as Mavis. For the day out with Thomas. Is like in the right berth. So I think there's no one behind the Diesel. So they probably will put Great Western 90. On the right berth. To the, to like, to my right. That's to the left. For in Great Western 90's point of view. Are we allowed to go over there? Because like, people are like, going over there. I don't know if we're allowed though. Okay. Say buenas noches to Great Western 90. Papa! Papa!
Yeah, they're gonna put her in the right place. Eu vou, papá. Vem. I'm, I'm gonna try and get there as soon as I can to see Great Western 90 be put away. I am, I don't know if I'm breaking the rule or not. The sign did say, yeah. Anyway, there's Canadian National 89. There is the Plymouth, Plymouth, Plymouth locomotive over there. And there is Norfolk and Western 611 water tender over there. I, I, I guess it means 611 is still here. Like, I don't know exactly. Yep, there's Canadian National 89 and Great Western 90. Uh, so Thomas is in front of Canadian National 89, according to my sister, I, I guess. Well, we say buenas noches to Great Western 90 and Canadian National, Canadian National what I forgot. Can, CNN, I'll just say CNN. CNN 89. We say buenas noches to them. Right, Papa? Yes, buenas noches. Yes. Also, check out that countryside. Papa? Yeah, we say. Let me try and get a glimpse of Thomas. He's like, oh yeah, he's there. You can't see it on the camera though, but he's there. I see a bit of blue. He's there. But no 475. You'd think that after Thomas and the Magic Railroad came out, 475 would be the most popular engine in the fleet. But apparently not. It stayed 90 is the most popular in the fleet. So I guess that means good night, these guys. I do not know where 475. What happened to 475? Um, engine 31 is still in restoration after 13 plus years. Uh, yeah. Say good night to these guys. All right, see you guys. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Bye.